All right, let's do the next network. So for the next network, router 0 wants to put in a static route to reach um, all of these four networks off of the R2 router. So router 0 needs to basically put in a static route to reach these four networks right here. Okay, and I'll show you how to do that. now. Our router 0 can put, instead of four routes into its routing table, it can put in one summary route which will, re which will reach all four of these networks, as long as they're contiguous networks and have a continual um, address space. So here are the networks. Um, the networks are 172.20.0.0 slash 22, and then there's the 32 slash 22, the 64 slash 22 and the 96 slash 22 and um, okay so um, what will be the summary route for that R0 will put in its routing table to reach those four networks well I've written the first one out in binary here that's 172.20.0.0 and now I'm just going to copy and paste that copy and paste, paste, paste. All right, so they all have 172.20s. And then here comes the changes. So uh, 32, there's the 32. And there's the 64. And then here is 96. So now we have these four networks written in binary here. And so we want to find out what will be the summary route. Well, the summary route in this case will be 1, 72.20 and then um, dot zero dot zero okay and then the question is what will be the subnet mask that's always the big question when you're looking for a summary route okay um, so, what is this going to be here? So we look for, once again, the last common bit that we have. We've got all four of these address, uh, network addresses have 10101100. They all have the same, right? You can look in columns here. They all have the same. They all have this in common, right? And then the last bit that they have in common is this zero right here. And so, the summary route would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 bits, 16 bits, 17 bits. So it would be a slash 17. And the summary route would be 172.20.0.0 slash 17. And router 0 here, this router, to reach these four networks down here at R2 would have to put this in its um, configuration. So once again it would be R0, oops, R0 and it would need to be in global config mode and it would put a route like this IP route 172.20.0.0 and then it would put in the subnet mask which in this case a slash 17 would be 255.255 dot one two eight dot zero and that would be the subnet mask and then out of the exit interface that it would exit out of which in this case is serial zero zero one so it would be s zero slash zero slash one and that would be the configuration line that you would put into the r zero this would be your second summary route which would reach these bottom four networks the last summary route that R0 would need so that it could reach these four networks over here, the network attached here, 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 and here to router 3 here, one route from R0, one static route, could reach these four networks as long as these four networks were um, contiguous in a continual address space. And it just so happens they are because we subnetted the 172 dot 24 dot 0 dot 0 address space 
slash 16 to get four subnets of 5,000 hosts each. And to do that, we subnetted them into 172.24.0 slash 0 slash 19 and 32.0 and 64.0 and 96.0 all slash 19 which gave us um, 8192 hosts per network and then the configuration that you would put in the router would be IP route 172.24.0.0 and then it would actually take the same subnet mask as our last example because the last common bit is right here, okay? And that's 17, um, 17 bits from the left to the right over. Eight bits, eight bits, and then one bit, the last common bit. So um, 17 bits in subnet mask equals 255.255.128. And this would change to, let's see here, the serial address would change to serial one zero right and of course we have the different the 17224 and that's different and then here it is so that's that's the last summary route that we would need and this summary route would let allow us to reach these four networks right here okay and um, so now all router zero would need is a default route going this way three summary routes going this way to reach these 12 networks down here and then the networks in between the routers and then these two networks here are all connected routes so they automatically show up in the routing table as long as the interfaces have been configured and um, and they're up the interfaces are up then you'd have these um, connected routes already within the table